You once told me you did not believe in destiny. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Do you remember what I first told you? About how not being able to control magic could destroy you? Destruction spells come in different forms, each useful for various purposes. Never underestimate the ability to influence others. Whether they're friends or foes, they're almost all susceptible to illusion spells. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Concentration spells can be cast immediately, though they're weaker. Good for a tight spot, and less costly if you miss. Casting wards requires constant concentration, and you can easily find yourself drained of your magical reserves. They can turn the tide of a battle in a moment's notice. There are also spells that help in avoiding conflict altogether. Invisibility is tricky to master, but exceptionally useful. You'll also need to decide whether to devote yourself to a single type of spell. Focusing solely on flame spells will make them more powerful, but you may find yourself at a disadvantage against foes immune to fire. Many who practice within the School of Conjuration do so on their own, secretly. It was all before my time, you understand. I've heard the stories, the same as anyone else. He was a brilliant student, an accomplished wizard delved into magic in a way none had seen before. But I think he became too focused on just how much power he could acquire. I submit that everyone in this college has, at one time or another, relied on one of the restoration spells that can keep them at bay. At this time, there is no indication that, as has been rumored, the object is in fact a physical part of Magnus, the god of magic. The key to wards is that they take time to charge. Not long, but you can't start casting with a fireball coming at you. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Atronox have a tendency to frighten the locals. Undead... well, I don't even think it needs to be said. The ability to repel the undead cannot be ignored. Necromancy, as any other type of magic, is a tool to be used. Of course, non-mages may not see it that way, so we don't go around flaunting it. Something must have gone wrong, and he ended up in the state he's in now, fused to the energies that flow through the college. They focus on research banned by the Synod, such as conjuration and necromancy. No more experiments are to be carried out there, and mages are advised that you enter the midden at your own risk. They appear to have little interest in real study and research for the sake of gaining knowledge. I didn't simply mean it could kill you. The Augur's accident is another very real type of a life destroyer. Do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? Tovakin!